welcome everyone to the hundred and uh, yeah fifty third live stream. Uh, it's mostly weekly, some days not. You know, it, things happen. Happens. Uh, today we have the ever lovely Allie. She's no longer apparently Allie Claw, just Allie. Who's Allie? Just Allie. Change, change it up, be a little softer. Not declawed. <laughs> oh God, no, please. <laughs> we got Fluffy's eye. Hello. And I think I hear a squeak in the distance, which might be cute pencil case. We'll see if things get fluffy around here. And of course, the ever awesome cell phone. What? Yeah. Where is he? Right there. Right there. Look, yeah. turn around. Jimmy, t turn around. There's a mirror right behind you. Just like look there. Yeah. There, there instead of being dead. Creepy. So today's art, <laughs> before we go too off the rails, uh, the first one is by Skyflies, and it's, I could use some feedback on this. It is the Scootaloo in the top left corner, for all of you following along at Not Home. Obviously we're in a studio. Live studio we fly out audience. every week. We just need a bad laugh yeah, track. It's a very quiet studio audience. <laughs> Most of them may be made out of cardboard. You know, they're just <laughs> gentle. We can't, we can't judge their construction types. <laughs> Maze just flew away into a gaming channel somehow. Oh no! He's having trouble there. Hi. He's back. Anyway, uh, do they have any questions? No, or... they don't. Oh. So, okay. uh, let, let's get down with the critique. Let's do this! I will start with some sketchy sketching. This is a very cute little scoot. Um, so let's have a look. The head, oh, I don't really need to circle this too much because it's quite an obvious circle, but I'm just doing it anyway for the sake of whatever. <laughs> um, so, break up his face a little bit. Uh, so it's not too bad. You're, you, there's nothing super like, ah, look at this, with the face. Um, but it could just use a little bit of tightening up. For one thing, the ear is very close to the eye, and there's not much space here for, like, the brow. It, it's uh, probably best to give a little bit of room, uh, put the ear a little bit more towards the side of the head. Oh, I have flipped the canvas back. Isn't it? There we go. Um, like this. The eyes, I always... Uh, this is just my preference because I mean a lot of the the show style eyes are just literally ovals. I like to have them start from like a point, either side of the nose, personally, and not get any thinner than that. But that's that's my own personal style. Uh, and you can still have it sort of peter out at the bottom here, but uh, it just sort of looks. This, this yours isn't too bad. I do see people who are like, oh, here's the eyes, and they're like completely coming inwards, and it like is a bit weird. I don't know. The nose, however, I do think goes at a bit of a different angle. Let's just straighten this up. Simple enough. Simple as that. Uh, you can keep it the style you've got, or you can make it like a more of a big big boopable snoot. Ah! Snow has landed on my booper. Oh no! My snooter boop. And what I typically do then is I use this to create like the bridge of the nose, and then that goes into the other eye, which you can't see most of this because of the hair anyway, but there we go. I do like the volume your hair has, though. It's really good. We see a lot of people with really flat-looking manes, and that's, you've done a really good job of making it look like it has weight. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can you can probably afford to split up some of the spikes a little bit, but I also like that the, the sort of hair spikes have overlap. That's also something that we see people struggle with a lot, where they'll just, they'll just do this. And it and that's not like what it should look like. So you you've done a really good job with the mane. That's really nice. There we go. Just a little bit of neatening up the face. You could also stand to make these cheeks a little bit a little pudgy, but you know have something that we love here. You have fluff. You have fluff. <laughs> Our one true weakness. Let's just get those fluffy cheeks, a little bit of of depth, so you can just take them in your hooves and squish them. You might not have to go Squishies. full. Um... Mutton chops on her, but <laughs> nah, this is just uh, I just stopped going for what they they originally put. <laughs> but you don't, you don't, you can do fluff in all sorts of different ways. 
we have set many kinds of fluff here. So what I'm seeing here is uh, on the other side uh, where we have dropped an ear. Uh, I can see you started the ear down at the bottom, which is awesome. Yeah. But it sort of just forgot the rest of the top. If we line up the two ears based on the angle that you left this ear at, it's definitely going to be popping above that hairline. Uh, and for the tail, yes. Um, just with the way she's turned, we aren't actually going to get a huge picture of her tail like it's coming off of her, uh, like it's sort of spawning off the hip like uh, you have here. We're actually going to get more of the profile behind her of it. So you're just going to get the fluff that's sort of rolling off the sides. So I've just uh, tucked the tail a bit more behind her as well. Actually, I might not need to search for it. I, I'm trying to look for reference because I, uh, I I drew wings. I was looking at like references for sort of open MLP wings a little while back. It doesn't look like I saved the references though. How silly. Uh, I always struggle. This is something I always struggle with is getting the wing shapes correct. At the moment, what's happening here is that, I mean, the, the, it doesn't look too bad. But the, if I just erase what I've done. Um, the the wings, they're not bad, but they're what you've got is like a, a sort of a... You've got a, a point here, which is like a big flat thing, and then there's feathers coming out of that. And you do that well, but that's not really what a wing is supposed to be. The wing is like an arm or a leg. It's more like an arm, so it'll come out, and it'll have a joint, and then you've got fingers. That's basically it. Like, if you imagine holding your arm uh, and a bit of a freaky imagery, but imagine your fingers being like super incredibly long and having feathers surrounding them. Like that's basically what a wing is. Um, it's easier to envision with bats. Let me just see. Uh, save screen cap wing. Let's see what that gives me. <laughs> Don't worry, it's good for searching for images or reference images. Ooh. I, I always love like Twilight's wing shape, and I find it. Easy to do somehow. Yeah, look at Kupensky's here. I did draw a single pigeon wing yesterday. Um, I was drawing like an emote for a server I joined. Uh, so the MOP wings have this very smooth curve like that. There we go. That's, that's how it's doing. Yeah, that's how it is. Just looking at the references on my other screen. I know Skulu has very tiny little wings, but I was just sort of focusing more on the style. If you want to be more accurate, you could like make them a little bit smaller. But let's just say she she grew a little bit a little bit more for this picture. Oh, yeah, that's really good. So you can see you're getting that that shape in there. Yeah, bird wings are, are often time it depends on the bird obviously but a lot of times are a lot more sort of cape like uh than the ponies we're used to but uh we we typically like ones that look a little bit more like hands <laughs> for the show and sometimes a bit too much so all right here we go that's uh, not perfect I'm just looking for a good reference to the pen. Oh, we'll just have like a, a distress dashy for a second. <laughs> Let's have a look. Layer one. I don't know. Well... There we go. Just because it shows the wing. So even then, I still I still didn't do it very well. But that's that's what art is about. It's about trying and then looking at reference and studying, and saying how can I. Do this better, and we don't always have to follow the show Star Wars, of course. But it's a good starting point. Mm -hmm. You got anything, Ali friend? No, you guys covered pretty much all of it. All right then, let's move on to the next picture. Screwy, 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 This one is by Buttmaster. Who I was looking so far to say. But, Mister, and it's for the weekly challenge, a world in flames. They have no questions or comments. Um, at the moment, it looks like a world of bushes. Uh, 
I know flames can be a very complicated thing, but I would look up sort of. You can look up real flames. You can look up sort of cartoony uh, interpretations of flames. Maybe both, but get definitely it's going to be about getting some um, inconsistencies in here. Looking at how fire flows, because it, it it dances. It's almost like a substance. I'm not very. I don't know what I'm doing with this because I don't have references at hand. Um, it's not really something like that. It's not going to be just like one shape like this because that doesn't really say this is fire. You might even have some little embers. That looks like a feather. It has some little embers flicking off. Little bits of embers flying around. I actually did like a study once. I um, took a screenshot of. Um, uh, I was playing Skyrim and like when the the dragons are like dissolving into like just burst into like embers around the screen. I like took a screenshot of that and tried to use that as reference. It's pretty cool. Drew some like embery things. I shall try and find it. I'll try and find what I drew. Uh, I keep losing my folder. A resources folder. There's two of them open and I keep losing it. Oh yeah, that's really good CPC. It's, it fire is sort of it it flows with the air. You see, see what CPC is doing here? That's really good. It's like ribbons. You can imagine how it gets flowing with like air currents there. Uh, oh, that's that's lovely. CPC plus plus. But it's not fluffy. <laughs> fluffy and fire does not mix. What if it's fire... it's sort of like it, it kind of is. It's just like moving soft, very hot fluff, like immaterial fluff. If you think about it, like if you had a creature that was just like flames all over their body, like it's kind of it's it's fluff. It's just very living hot fluff. <laughs> Hello, oh. I'm a dreamer. Uh, I'm trying to find a, a thing I drew once. It's not super relevant because like it would take a lot more. Uh, it's it's like sort of jumping the gun a little bit, but just as illustration of what I was talking about. Yeah, poor fluff ball. <laughs> oh, little face. I will say though, I think they did a really good job on the face. Speaking of faces, yeah. I think. You have the like the eyes, nose, and mouth. I think that's really good. Yeah. But the head itself feels off to me. It's very, very circular. Like I think, yeah. I think with the MLP, like particularly with the the early vectors uh, and stuff, it was it was very, very painfully obvious how circular the head was from mm -hmm. most angles. Uh, and I think that's it, it's a good place to start with. But it people sort of think, oh, the head needs to be an exact circle. It has to be an exact circle. Uh, whereas it doesn't have to be. It can. Like, I don't even... Mine is definitely not a straight circle. It's more oval. Like, uh, but I don't I don't have just, like, a shape, and that's definitely what you should focus on, is not just having, like, a, a straight shape that you're adding features to. It should just be sort of a basis that you're constructing the skull around. Mm -hmm. And I know the show, like, the show does weird angles where they have perfectly yeah. circular faces. And if you're going for the show, that's great. The thing about the show, though, is they do stuff with such precision that yeah. you can achieve it while drawing, but you get more life out of not trying to be so perfect. Like, yeah, a exactly. face isn't perfectly circular. And I also agree, CPC drew that the neck was very thick. Just be careful of that. Um, usually the necks won't be the same width as the head in cartoon. Well, sometimes it can be if you're portraying like a really super muscular character. The <laughs> yeah. necks can be like ginormous, but yeah, <laughs> when you're portraying not with soft marshmallow like ponies. What is this? It's very so dark here. All right, do we want to move on to the next one? I didn't find my yeah. thing yet, but I'd probably be here all day looking for it. <laughs> I'll That's share it cool. later when it's no longer relevant. <laughs> Karma Dreamer has fired one at us. <gasps> CPC has last. So we're going to do Karma next. Oh, oh, don't click karma, those buttons. Karma, karma, I'm getting karma, distracted karma. by photos I took of my plushies. Uh, I'm trying to find art. You're cute AF, but you're being really difficult right now. Uh, I blame the plushies. <laughs> 
I can't even remember when I first said that, but it's like a quote from my friend's Cards Against Humanity game now because it was just silly. I, I think it's because I had like I had therapy on my lap while I was drawing, like on top of my tablet, or maybe it was Pinky. I can't remember. It was like on top of my tablet while I was drawing, and then like eventually it started getting a little bit too difficult to draw. So, like, the cute AF people being very difficult right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carmen Dreamer, what questions do you have about this picture? Uh, oh, in advance, need help with the lower pony hind legs and with the rope on her going forward on the screen because it looks weird. So if you're trying to accomplish foreshortening, um, I think the best thing you can do is... I, I like how you're trying to go... I, I'm assuming that like the rope is wiggly because it's like action-y and moving and bungee and... But um, something that will help is that the closer it is to you, the bigger it will be. The farther away, the smaller it will be. So right now it's a pretty consistent size all around. If you wanted to get that um, distance change, you're going to want to make it noticeably bigger. Have a nice good like. And you can still do that wibbly thing, but the size difference does matter. It really does sell that perspective that, you know, coming towards you. Any coup for the legs? Uh, I think you just gotta rotate the hip a bit, uh, just a little bit more than it is, and then <laughs> the the legs will get a little weird because they're going against what you you would normally see them as. Because from behind is not like from behind with the legs flat is not normal. Like mm -hmm. normally when we see them behind, you're just seeing the little bit of the hawk and then the just leg out. And that's, that's a pretty easy thing to get down. But when then that's tilted towards you and turned, and you're more getting from this sort of angle, that gets a little awkward. Um, but as long as you keep the idea in your mind that it is this hilarious uh, cylinder uh, put on top of like a teardrop, then it shouldn't be too hard to get. Uh, just keep in mind the hawk is still there, and it can be used to help give some definition to that leg but it's going to uh, for instance on this area right here it's going to sort of bean in and then out yeah then I just refine that a little bit but definitely if they're like flailing and falling I, I don't think straight leg is quite the idea you're looking for at least for mm -hmm. when they're turned like this Uh, and that's what I've got for those legs. Do you have any other questions? Any other things you'd like us to look in particular? Or do you want us just to sort of go at this one? All right, then. Uh, well, I... I'm interested to see what you do when you start adding in the mane and tail, because the uh, tail is going to help you actually cover up a bit of this. You're, you get to use the tail to cover some of the leg. That'll be great. Uh, helps you with hips and just not going, well, it has to be perfect. Nah, cover things up. It's, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm interested to see what you do with the mane, the flopping in the air. Unless if they're both bald ponies. They, they must have had a really rough day. Yeah, this one looks really beaten up, the one down in here. Yeah. Alright, then let's go on to the next picture of uh, CPCs. CPC, cute pencil case. Ra 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 ra. Alright, CPC, you got any questions in particular on this one? I believe in you, CPC. <laughs> No. no, no, no questions in particular, just the anatomy. Maybe the legs are a bit short, I'm not sure. The legs 
I'm not sure if they're short or just slim. Are you yeah. going for like a hybrid anthro thing on these legs? Because they're stretching and squishing oddly. Mm. I don't know, I just... I think the problem is that I started with the curve and then I tried to adapt the legs to it. Uh. Mm. This leg right here? Oh my gosh, come on, Pen. There we go. That is, it feels really, really stretched out for me. Like the, the yeah, the way... it feels like the, the 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 shape doesn't really conform to the the pony's sort of bone structure. Yeah. Uh, I I I think I've shortened up slightly lower than the other one because it looks like uh, the the left side of this hip is raised, which makes sense. Which is doing this like period pirouetting pose. Yeah, but shouldn't be standing on the floor. It's more. Oh, it's more like she's just like sort of floating. Yeah, like the other two. I posted yeah, the other uh... two on the ah, okay. art channel. You can sort of accentuate that the hoof is pointed downwards then. Uh, yeah. Like this. And then you can, it's much more easy to have that pose then because you don't have to worry about the sort of gravity and the supporting the weight. A bit more, more of the position that this first leg has, but just like extended it like, at a bit of a looser sort of angle. And as for the, the upper legs look very much like arms, I think, especially this one. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I would go about. Yeah, I went sort of more missing... human shoulders than pony shoulders. Yeah, okay. I think just to an extent, if you wanted it to be a little bit more pony like in the legs anyway, I think it'd be about extending this sort of uh, structure that the pony legs have. I'm very bad at legs, especially in this position. <laughs> So I sent two pictures now, and they are about, I want to keep about the same style as those two. It's like yeah. the human shoulders and just all of them kind of floating. In that case, your hip makes more sense on the, the one we actually have the arrow to, because you're doing these really elongated hips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so in that case, I think I would uh, give this a bit more length to it. Like kangaroo that thing out a bit to the, <laughs> to the other side. Okay. And I, I obviously don't have to change this because it's like a stylistic thing, and I, especially not since you're doing these within the same sort of style. I, I wouldn't expect you to do anything. But I feel like the ears could probably stand to be lower down. It's not like wrong or anything. It's it's fine. Um, but it, uh, it's just a case of if you wanted to, you could shorten the head a little bit. Um. By move, moving the sort of ear position, and then you can you can actually lower the entire sort of head because it's quite tall. I think I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, there's but... also going to be a little curl here that I haven't drawn yet. I had another sketch I gave up on, but there's a little curl here, kind of like this. Okay. That makes the ear not look as long. <laughs> it's just that I haven't added it yet on okay. this sketch. But I'll try to move them a little more down. Yeah. A little lower. Just a suggestion. Yeah. I think I almost also end up doing them longer because I keep thinking of the other side because I'm doing. Yeah, you want like side. the other area to be visible. It's like I want them to see. I want to, to see yeah, some. LD spends so much time like dragging us on it. Because <laughs> <laughs> Pinky's ears on. Pinky was the first one I did and just everything disappeared. Yeah, her mind covers the ears. So. It's super poof. Like Ali's mean, Scenic Spatter's mean. It's just like, there's no way of seeing the other ear. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> Did you have any other questions? No, I, I think that's it. Do the, the eye shapes look okay? Do they look yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, because it's a different, different from my usual oval shape, so wasn't uh, sure. This nice. one, this one in particular, looks very nice.
Uh, Maze Temporal does have a comment about your horn tangenting with the hairline. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me see if I can... Oh, I just <laughs> give it a bit more overlap. Pull down that front just a touch. Mm -hmm. Let's give it one more horn. Like and then, yeah. Line. Yeah, there we go, exactly. Increase it both ways so that it's, it's way more obvious that it's not following. Okay. Thank you. Alright. Anyone else have any other art they'd like critiqued? Any other questions they'd like to ask? You can throw them to us here in the Bugatti chat or in the Discord. No one then? All right. Well, thank you all for joining this week, and we'll see you again yeah, next week. See again you next week. Yes. Words, <laughs> words are great. Yep. Bye. <laughs>